So in this video, I'd like to go over my top three combos. And what I'd like you guys to do is, if you do leave a comment, write about your top three combos. Now it might take you a bit to think about it because it doesn't mean you don't do it, but you gotta think, what is it that I do? And kind of put that together in writing. So I'd love to hear about you guys, your top three combos. I'm sure that there are other people watching this video that can get some ideas. Now, the reason I like a top three combos is I think everybody needs a game plan. Sparring or your first fight, you kind of need to know what you should do, what you're good at, and what's working. Now, the combos don't have to be set in stone. You can make little variations from there. And the combos themselves are only one part of a game plan. But it's bet to your advantage to have that part at least down pretty solid, along with your defense and your footwork and your general mindset. So right now I'm going to break down my top three combos. They're, they're very simple, but they're very effective for me. And I'd like you guys to tell me about your top three combos as well. All right, here we go. Okay, my first combo that I, that I like is a double jab, straight right hand, left hook. But the way I like to do it is the first jab, I'm either going to go to the body low or I'm going to slip and go to the head. And the second one is to the head. Now my goal with this double jab is to get the two jabs firing off as quick as possible and I'm usually chasing a guy down with this so I'm going to try to drive him back. It's very rare that I'm, when I'm going with this that somebody is just standing still. Usually it's in a situation where I'm having trouble connecting on the initial combo and, and I'm just trying to close the gap on this guy or I'm having a hard time closing the gap. So I'm here, first one is here, second one here. Now the feet is like this. See that? Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to follow up with the right hand left hook, very straight up. I get low. And then pop it. From here. Okay. Very straight up combo. I'm just trying to close the gap get in there, once I get into range, low to the body, to the head, boom, boom, and then I fire off my shot. Of course, when I'm done this left hook, I'm most likely gonna duck and get out, or dip and get out to the side. Okay, my next favorite combo is a similar idea. Sometimes I'll work it off the jab, or I don't always have to. It's an overhand right and an under, a left uppercut coming up. Basically what I'm trying to get my opponent to do is get that left hand of his up tight. So I'm going to come over with that. Now if he snaps back, then I'm going with the left hook because I want to close the gap. But ideally he blocks and then I'm going to come up, up the middle with the left uppercut. So I may work it off the jab, I come over top, trying to make sure he blocks there, come under with that left uppercut. So here, with the jab, let's say. Okay, boom, and I'm over here, I'm gonna slip back, move my head or whatever. If instead of blocking, he avoids the right hand by going back, and I miss that totally, that means I'm short. Then I'm gonna come in with the left hook. So footwork on that, it's straight up, boom, just your standard stuff, home, home. Okay, if I miss, I'm gonna try to come in with that left hook. Slow and slow-mo, with the jab or without, home. I come over top and try to come up the middle with that uppercut. It's always good to get the guy tight on the outside See if you can squeeze it up the middle. If he's too tight up the middle, try to come around the outsides or come around the outside of the body. My next favorite combo, working off the jab. Oftentimes, you can set this guy up, either snapping back or trying to catch your jab. Either way, I'm coming with a full committed jab, I'm expecting a counter back. Whether you miss your jab or he blocks it, he's in control for that split second believe it or not, unless he's lost his balance. If you miss, or he blocks it, 
he's in control for a split second means that he may not be in control of you, but he's at least in control of himself. He has the ability to counter. So if I go with this jab and I miss, it's short or he catches it. I can expect that counter attack coming. My first move is a slip left. So I go to the outside. So I jab, I slip left, left hook, right hand, and then I step right. That's one of my favorite. I'll bring it down for you here in front. Okay. Jab, slip left, left hook, right hand, step. Now with the footwork, it looks like this. I jab, I jab, and I slip. It's almost like one motion. Ba ba, ba ba. That gets me in. I've done this in another video before. Okay. I come up, boom, boom. I step over to get another angle. And then I can fire again if I want. So that's my third favorite combo. Now, of course, there are other ones I use. Jab and duck under, you know, right to the body, left up, boom. I always like to come up straight with an uppercut, other stuff. But you gotta have something that you're really good at, something that you're really comfortable with. So if you guys can do me a favor, tell me about your combos below, what you like to do, see if you can describe them best. Just three straight up ones that you really like. All right, peace. And another thing, don't forget to check out my website, www.precisionstriking.ca. I've got a blog there, some old blog posts are pretty good. I've got a store page there, instructional videos that I sell, in case you guys don't know already. Also, check me out on Instagram. I got some more fun stuff on there, just pictures of me, everyday training, JT Van V. And of course, like my Facebook page, Precision Striking. And I'll be posting videos, you know, semi-regularly. Usually I like to go in batches, boom, put three or four up. Take a little while to come up with ideas. If you guys have any ideas for videos, let me know. Sometimes it takes me a while, like the Miguel Cotto one. I think it took me a year to hit that up, but eventually I got around to it and put it together. So if you guys have some good video ideas, I always appreciate it. Oh yeah, and check out my app too on the Play Store, on the iTunes Store. I got a free version, it's not gonna cost you anything. And if you like the free version, you can upgrade to the Pro. All right, peace.